Hi, and thanks for joining us at Nelly Security. Today what we're going to do is download the Smart PSS software. First, what you want to do is navigate to our website by going to www.nellysecurity.com. Once the page is loaded, let's go ahead and click on Cameras, and then select one of the megapixel cameras from the drop-down here. Now what we want to do is select one of the iServe cameras. Let's see here. And then scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see a Downloads tab. Go ahead and click on that one. And now if you scroll down a little bit farther, you'll see Windows version Smart PSS 1.10. Click on the link to begin downloading the software. Now that we have the Smart PSS software downloaded, what we're going to do is locate the file and then double click on the icon to begin the installation. And it will run you through a few steps here. Be sure and accept the license agreement, click Next, Next, and Install. And it should only take a minute or so to install here. And once it's installed, let's go ahead and check the Run Smart PSS box and click Finish. Now it's going to bring you to a login screen. The default password is admin and the default username is admin. Now that we're logged into the Smart PSS, first what we're going to do is manually add a device. To manually add a device, go down and click the Manual Add button. First, you want to give it a name. Next, you want to type in its IP address. Now, this can either be the local or the public IP address. For now, we'll just do a local one. and you can click the get info button if everything goes through good it should populate these fields at the bottom now once you're done click add and you'll see it add to the bottom of your devices down here and if everything went well you'll see the state turn to online next to automatically add a camera you can click the refresh button and these are all the IP cameras uh, listed on your network here so to add one we'll check the box double click it and it should add it to the bottom. Next what we want to do is double click on it. You want to make sure that the passwords are both admin if you're using an iServe camera and then it'll turn online. Now that we have our devices added to Smart PSS we want to click the home page icon at the top. Now to get a live view let's click on the live view icon. Then if you look to the right, you'll see a default group. Now this is the device that we've pulled from the network, which is going to be an IP camera. And to view it, just drag it and drop it. And the device we added manually was our NVR. What you can do is also drag and drop with that. And that's how you live view cameras, either manually adding or automatically finding them on the network to PSS. Now that we have all of our windows added to Smart PSS, what we want to do is create a view to save these windows. To do that, we're going to go down and click the disk icon here. That'll pop up a new window. Let's go ahead and name the view. Now that we have the view named and saved, let's go ahead and close each window to test it out to make sure it works. Go down here and click on View, and we'll go to Nelly's View 1. 
you double click it, it should pu pull up all the previous windows that you had open. Now what we can do is playback video. To playback video, let's clip on, click on the home page icon. Let's click on the playback icon. Now there's a few ways you can play back. First, click the plus arrow. Now you can select either a single IP camera or an IP camera from your NVR. For now, we'll play back a single IP camera. Let's see here. Once you have it selected, you want to go down here and select the date. Now you'll see all your recordings listed in green. Once you have your day selected, click OK, and it'll default to a 24-hour period. Then click Search. If the recording's found, you'll see the green bar come on the timeline at the bottom. You can either select a time with a mouse cursor, or you can simply hit play. You can also play back by using the task, or I'm sorry, the view that we just created by clicking on the view. Now I'll go to Nelly's view one, select your day, go for the 29th again, and click search. As you can tell, we have three green bars now, which means it found a recording for these three cameras on our view. And to play, just simply click on the timeline. And that concludes our tutorial video on how to set up Smart PSS. Thanks for joining us.